there's one away. That is second. The first base is Paul Gold. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Kershaw fires. And a foul ball left side. On the ground right side and foul ball. One down base is empty. That misses the zone. It's two and two. Just off the inside edge. And now filled up. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Nolan Arenado. Kershaw the 2 1. And delivers outside. And now the lefty fouls one away, and now three and two. Goldie, the base runner at first with one out. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. The designated hitter, Wilson. Contreras. So first and second with one man gone. Wilson Contreras. Next up for the Cardinals. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. And strike two. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runners at first and second with one gone. Ground ball right side could be two. Fired to second, and that's two. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Today's starting pitcher, Jordan Montgomery. What's the word on him? Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. And here's the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The 2-1. Smoked in the left, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Batting second. The first base. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie. Charlie. And you can see the why. It's hitter. not a looping slow yeah. curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The 2 1. Swing and a foul straight back. We need a base in here. 
Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Chris Taylor now. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through that one for strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. All right, Dodgers. Two outs. Three. He goes down looking. So the Dodgers leave one. We played an inning. No score. Second inning set to go. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Dylan Carlson. California kid. Played for his dad at Elk Grove High School. His teammates there with Nick Madrigal. That one's in there. That's strike two. Wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. On the ground right side. Slides. He's got it. To first. On the money. Nice play. Here's Tyler O'Neill. There's a 1-1. Good eye in that spot. Kershaw. He has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Next offering is down low. Three and two now. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. And here it comes. The other way, and he beats the shift. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. The pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. On a second, they get one. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Max Muncy at the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Yeah. Okay.
Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. Left-hand batter waits. In the dirt. On to first. And quickly one away in the second. Oh, big that power guy it. right there the and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And now Miguel Vargas to the right side. Throws to first, and he's out. So two down now, and here is James Outman. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Dodgers go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. Well, here we go. Here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's Andrew Kisner. The pitch. And now two and one after that missed inside. Pitch misses there, and now three balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and that is strike two. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. Thompson. He ranges to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Lars Newtbar. Next up for the Cardinals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Stays alive. Y'all, you know, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. The 3-2 is four. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Tommy. So the lineup Edmund. flips over. Now up for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. Hit on the ground, might be two. Taylor, tossed to second, and they can't buy a break. Their third double play already ends the third inning for them. Nothing doing here this half. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here in L.A. We as we go the to the last of the no third. Left. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Trace Thompson. The 1-1. One, one. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. that one away and we'll do it again pretty good pitch there to take a rip at he wants to get his arms extended he likes the ball away from him a little bit just not able to square oh, it up next one misses and it's two and two
in the dirt. Quick reactions behind the plate, and he tags him out. And now the veteran catcher, Austin Barnes. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. So oh, that's off the plate. Ball two. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now back, right fielder, Mookie Betts. Here's Mookie Betts. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Freddie Freeman up next. Left field. O'Neill getting an angle on it. And that is that. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Paul Goldschmidt. Slider clips the corner. Line and a base hit into right. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first, digging for two. Betts quickly gets it back in. Runner holds it second. So another base hit could get us the first run of the game. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously? We're starting with this already. Go ahead, run on base. Nolan Arenado. Next up for the Cardinals. He reached out a walk his first time. And the pitch. Check swing, no appeal. Two and one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Bows it back with two strikes. Goldie at second with nobody out. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And now it's filled up. Runner leads away at second. And there's ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. 0 for 1 so far. Wilson Contreras has put together a pretty special career. Multiple times he's been an all-star and a guy that came up in the Cubs system as an infielder. Ground ball to first, could be two. Over to Taylor. On to Freddie. Double play. 
For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. This is Dylan Carlson. Grounded out his first time up. Ball to strike. That one oh, drifts shit. inside. And a foul ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. 2-2. Two -two. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. The cards leave one, and we are still scoreless. Here at the ballpark, now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is even two and two. Good eye right there. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. The batter now will be Will Smith. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Next pitch is outside. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Just That's absolutely cool. rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Chris Taylor, the next to hit. Struck out looking in his first at bat. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Not two even balls, close there. Two, two balls, two strikes. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball three. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here comes Max Muncy. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals.
Little trouble with this one behind the plate, and the runner holds. At the belt and fires. On the ground, right side. Goldie He's takes out. it himself, and that is the inning. One left for L.A., and we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Two, two, Bullpen activity starting up now. Phil Bickford appears to be getting loose. Vicia, a left-hander, also throwing. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run and here is Paul DeYoung one ball. so now two one and two <laughs> kicks and fires breaks his bat and pops it up Kershaw makes the grab two down now Andrew Kisner next up for the Cardinals. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And a rope into center field, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. At 110 miles per hour on the exit velo, that thing was screaming, and that's some serious bat speed to generate contact like that, and no doubt a higher launch angle sends that thing out of here easily. Yeah, the batter now, Lars Newtball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. So one left for the Cardinals, still no score. Bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Vargas. The second baseman, Miguel Vargas. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Went down on strikes his first time through. That's off the mark, and a count two and one. And I think they're in a good spot, thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Swing and a miss, and it's two and two. Here comes a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The why to kick the pitch. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Now bad. So up next, Trace Thompson. He's all for one. Here's a one-one. Good eye right there.
A wind and a pitch. Swing and a tapper. Fires to first on the run. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. set for the top of the six and here's the st louis leadoff man tommy edmund the wind of the pitch the lefty closing in on 100 pitches you know these cards showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one they haven't produced a run yet but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon Three one is on the way and I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead and here it comes fouled off again and it remains three and two swing and a ground ball up the middle that's a base hit. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A-B. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Kershaw will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Phil Bickford gets handed the rock out of the pen. He last pitched two days ago. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. And the right hander deals. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. A two-run homer, home run number five on the season. It's 2 nothing. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Here's Nolan Arenado. That one to first. And it gets by him. Now back. Designated hitter. Wilson Contreras. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Right-handed reliever. Popped up left side. Muncy sizes this one up, brings it in, one down. Up next to the card, card. the center fielder, Dylan. Now it's the switch hitting oh. outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Arenado leads off first with one away. High fly ball out to center field. Two down. Tyler O'Neill. Next up for the Cardinals. One for two. And he deals. And that's outside. Popped up first base side. Vargas under it. 
brings it in for the third out. Two runs for St. Louis on this blast. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're dialed in to the show. Welcome back. Bottom of the Lee sixth John, inning. Here's the catcher, Austin Barnes. The catcher. Austin. And Chris, his big strength oh. is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And that's something that this guy does really well, gets in sync with his pitchers. Three balls, two strikes, the count. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's so buried in that video room, it's hard to get a chance to talk to him. And so the lefty... Allows the leadoff free pass. Pitch count's getting up there now. And not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Nobody out. Runner at first. That one in for a strike, two and two. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Jake Woodford up and loosening in the pen. Thompson getting cranked up as well. Two two now. Kick swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. Three. Goes down looking. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. Three two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Ready. Three man. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Slap the other way. Foul. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Him out looking with the off speed stuff. Will Smith now at the plate. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So the Dodgers leave one, and they're down 2 nothing. Back here in L.A., we go to the top of the seventh, and now the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. DeYoung. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap, but I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there. And it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe. 
Now, Andrew Kisner in there. And so now one and two. And the righty deals. That well, one off the one. mark. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. In the air, left field. Thompson gets under it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Lord. Lars Newtbar next up for the Cardinals. A strikeout and a walk. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. great stop the throw over to Taylor back to the pitcher covering it's a double play nicely done and that'll do it one hit in the inning but nothing more than that midway in inning number seven and it's time to stretch it's the Cardinals two and the Dodgers nothing Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, Jake Woodford. And something to be aware of, the long ball has been a little bit of a problem for him this year. And now here is Chris Taylor. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. That Two one not close. Two balls and a strike. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. That's in there. Two and two now. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. Next pitch misses, counts full, three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. And things could change quickly here with one swing. The 2-2. Got him! One out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Now with the plate, Miguel Vargas. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know what the run around the goal. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Great jump. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game, and that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base stealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment, or guys are going to be running all game. The count two and one. This is again five in a row. James Outman waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Taylor over at second, one down. And now a full count. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to Goldie. And oh. yeah, there's two away. Up next, up, up, up. The center up, up. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Jojo Romero. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Now, number 59, Jojo Romero. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. 
You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Bounce to the right side. Edmund tosses to first, and that's terrific work out of the bullpen. One pitch to end the frame. One left for L.A. They're still down. It's two zip. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Yancy Almonte. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Now up for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond, one for three. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Fights it off. He'll see another. The one two. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Almonte throws over. Edmund back on a dive. And a pitch. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Save at second, and that was not close. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. Here's a one-two. Struck him out looking. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. And up next for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Edmund around third. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Run around at first with one gone. Wilson Contreras will hit next. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Right-hander kicks, deals. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up, and... It's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night tonight, Boog. And that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. And that's a strikeout looking. Frozen with a backdoor slider. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Out of the bottom of the eighth, we now the left the fielder, the Trace Thompson. No left fielder. Trace Thompson. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Now all even up. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And he dropped it. 
So that's a foul ball, and he gets another chance at the play. Kicks and deals. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following okay, okay. suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching Whoa. coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Ball to strike. The pitch. That's inside. Oh, that's inside. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Hard ground ball, base knock. Now back. The right field. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Mookie Betts digs in now. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. The 2 2. Fouls that off to the left, and will do it again. That one misses, and it's a full count. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Mookie Betts blasts one out. Home run number five on the season. It's 3-2. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark. Really nice job. And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And next for L.A., Freddie Freeman. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two gone now. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Next is the Dodger DH, Will Smith. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And now it's one and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Two-run shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Shelby Miller. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Number 18, Shelby. Miller. Here's the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. The left fielder, Tyler O'Neill.
at the belt and fires. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that wall. Now it's the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Got him looking for the K. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Andrew Kisner next up for the Cardinals. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Pickoff throw. O'Neill dives back in safely. Back over to first. Oh, and did. they're keeping him close. And the pitch. Runner. There goes the runner. Yeah. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Ow! That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Flails at that one. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the offense that time. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Cardinals three and the Dodgers two. Ryan Helsley on to try and close it out. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Now pitching for the Number 56, Ryan Helsley. Well, one run game. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Chris Taylor. Next pitch misses outside. Now two and two. The tying run at the plate. And another ball. Three two now. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the hump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch but a good take to earn that run. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The one-two. And the one-two misses to even the count. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Strike three. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And yeah, the batter now, Miguel Vargas. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Puts it away for the out. The center field, number 33. Yay. Big spot here, Yay. bottom of the ninth, down to their final out. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. The 1 1. Just missed. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. And a foul ball. 
Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. And there's a the ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Trace Thompson, the kind of bat that can make a big impact if they can keep it going here. Payoff pitch. Got him! And that's the ball game. Three to the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.